Welcome. This is the energy vibration um, reading for the Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the month of January 2018. Um, and in this month, please thank you so much for the help, support of last year. Thank you for your wonderful, wonderful um, support. And I'm hoping that you will stay. Welcome, all newcomers. Thank you for being with this channel. And I want to say to each and every one, please remember that this year is a lucky year for you guys too because you have the energy vibration of um, the swords energy, um, um, the air energy, which is justice. For you in the month of uh, um, January, you have a water energy, your intuition, as I have said. You have the energy vibration of the intuition coming in and this is wonderful and this is positive the energy vibration of the intuition is going to awaken a lot of you psychics in this um, month so in the month of January your psychic is going to be open you're going to be understanding messages that are coming in you're going to be um, aware of whatever the message is and uh, understand what is it that you need to do for yourself okay so um, what is happening here is that a lot of you are going to be needing to understand where you are and listen to your own inner guidance than other people in a guidance okay all right um what is good is that a lot of um hair energies are helping you Aquarians in this month of January um, the first energy you have is the nine of swords so you're connecting with your guiding angels and your psychic is very high it is it is very very high um, a lot of you will be able if you're psychic readers or tarot readers or that sort of a thing receiving correct energies in the first week the second week is going to be an emotional week because the second week is that you're leaving something behind and this could be you want um, to stop um, the energies that are coming in okay you know in a um, in this week you want to stop the energies that are coming in and what I'm going to do oh yeah well um, yeah so you want to stop the energies that are coming through for you guys and um, by doing that what is going to happen is that um, you are going to be leaving something behind so let's see what will you be leaving behind um, the energy of the king of wands so um, some of you who are married or have a connection with the king of wands um, between the first week and the second week there is going to be uh, a situation for some people in the first week for some people in the second week this king of one is someone over the 40 and is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn so try and figure out who is this person because um, you are thinking in the second week to just leave the situation behind and to, to move forward you Aquarians okay so whatever is happening there in the third week you have um, for you men over 40 this is going to be a situation it's because um, this third week is going to be a week where things are happening for you men over 40 for the rest of the people it's going to be good let's see what is happening for the the um, combination here and what is happening um, for you guys in this week is that um, the five of swords the energy of five of swords so for um, you um, what is happening is that this king of Pentacles is moving away from you and decide to move away from you for whatever reason um, he is not uh, um, happy with the situation he's not happy with what is going on uh, I think he's not trusting you anymore and he wants to move away from you and uh, you and this king of Pentacles is having conflicts let's see what is going to happen um, from the third week to the fourth week because in the fourth week we have the page of swords so a messenger so there is a situation with a messenger that is coming so what is happening um, for you guys is that there is a messenger that is coming and this is the knight of Pentacles so um, you the, the 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 men over the age of 40 whatever is happening in this week for you guys is going to be something that is playing a significant role in this because um, whatever the situation that you had 
with this king of pentacles what is happening is that there's a conflict with this king of pentacles in the third week to fourth week a message is going to come to you about money from um and it's going to be um a message of someone or the knight of pentacles which is someone who's 25 or 45 will be um, either bringing you news or some situation is happening so let's look further and see what is happening um, there is a burden um, between the king of pentacles and uh, um, the um, and a conflicts with um, the um, the king of swords so you um, older men but there is a strong tradition whatever the burden is there is a strong foundation that is happening so the outcomes is going to be the energy of the three of ones okay your outcome is going to be the energy of the three of ones so you're going to be turning your back on a situation that has been happening and that has to have, as, as, as been transforming in your life you are really 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 going to turn your back on this situation because what is happening is that the outcomes for you guys is that most of you will be leaving something behind so let's um, let me take a situation and let me take a more in-depth um, look in this because um, what is happening is that um, um, whatever information that is coming in especially um, um, their information coming in and some people um, see it as worry some people see it as information okay so for some people you have um, a worries with the king of Pentacles whoever that person is is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn what is happening is that it is as if this man is a burden to you but you're going to be leaving the situation behind whatever is happening you are going to be leaving the situation behind and as you look forward um, there is someone um, that is going to bring you message or you're going to bring message to this um, um, to a young man who is 25 between the ages of 25 and 45 and that is an um, Taurus um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and um, there is a strong foundation between you and this person you, you know there is a very strong foundation between you and this person whatever it happens because it has to do with you women that is connected to the night of um, the Knight of Pentacles and this th there is a strong foundation between you and this person whatever is happened there is a very very strong foundation whatever is transpiring and whatever message and whoever is looking and spying and whatever this night um, you know not to worry about it because you have a very strong foundation against this person the middle and the center the energy for most of you in this month is the four of swords you need to rest okay uh, most of you really 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 need to rest most of you really need to rest there is a, a calling out for um, a lot of people to take some rest as we look on um, some people are thinking about moving away take some rest and find stability in their life a lot of people are thinking about you know moving away uh, from the worries from the concern from you know all the stuff that is happening around you and take some rest and this is going to be helping out a lot okay because this is what you guys need at this moment to just turn your back on things and try and focus on yourself because it's in psychic the the energy of information coming to you whenever um, the eye princess is here that means um, close yourself off from whatever is happening outside and go within okay um, you have you kings of uh, um, so we did that we did that we did that so you kings because there is a situation for some people who are um, connected with this um, with someone who's a Taurus Virgo or Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn over the age of 40 whatever here is happening you need to 
you're thinking about leaving this person behind and moving forward because obviously this person is just being um, it's as if they're putting a block or a spokes on you that is a situation that never seems to be ending and you just want to leave and move away from the situation as I look at uh, you men over the age of 40 what is happening is that you need to take some rest okay you really 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 need to take some rest and there is an energy with the energy of the knight of Pentacles whoever this energy is this could be your son you know you need to leave and rest okay whatever this is happening um, there is a strong foundation but don't it's not as if it's a win-win situation there's a strong foundation it's not really a win-win situation it is a time that you leave you constantly going after someone and something and it is really getting tiring for other people and you're dragging your son in a situation that you need to leave the situation alone and give it some rest because obviously this whoever you are and you're over the age of 40 you have a son that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the ages 25 and 45 and you're not aware that what you're asking the son to do is going to have an effect on him in the long run and whatever is happening here you need to stop this even though you have a strong foundation you know that this child will do anything for you it is now time that you release this child from whatever you're asking him to do because it's going to have an effect on you whenever you're dead and gone this is going to have an effect on him in his life you are um, spying and wants him to spy on something for you it's time that you stop because you're going to get yourself in some serious trouble okay because you're already in some serious trouble and you're going to get deeper in this trouble for you um, guys it is rest take some rest if a situation isn't working walk away from it move away from it and uh, um, then things will um, start working out and clearing out it is better to just move away from situations if things are not working out as so don't try to push things forward if they're not working out okay so let's um, go further and see um, the energy of the Sun um, the Sun people um, you have to deal with um, Uranus Uranus is going to take things out of your life um, so oh, for the Sun people um, you are going to have to deal with two planets in the month of January and this is why I understand what was happening because there's no supporting energy in the general energies for you air sign people and for the Sun people you are dealing with Uranus and um, hold on Uranus and uh, let me, yeah my eyes are getting worse and worse I, I read too much um, I'm always reading okay Jupiter a lucky planet and Pluto I'm sorry so for you Sun sign people you have Pluto and Jupiter coming in these planets are going to be helping you because there's ab absolutely there is absolutely no no um, uh, sun energy that is coming up and these planets are going to be helping you so Pluto is a good planet that you, you know Pluto is the time that you take time off Pluto is a time and you're going to take a little rest and Jupiter is going to bring you a lot of luck so whatever is happening for you there with rest and luck this is going to be good because this is what um, the Sun people needs to do and remember who the Sun people are okay let's look at the lunar the Aquarians who were born in the night for the month of January 2018 let's see um, for the Aquarians who was born in the night Virgo is coming in to help you Virgo people are always coming in to help you guys this is um, this is very good because the Virgos are always so for the moon people um, what is happening for you moon people you have this the um, is the 
the sign of Virgo coming in Virgo and Mercury and when Virgo and Mercury comes in because Virgo is also a very intuition sign and they are going to teach you how you can make things happen in your life and change around things and the energy of Mercury is teaching you how to manifest and turn um, iron into gold and this is um, a very very wonderful and this is very good so whatever is happening for you guys it's gonna be um, um, you know positive because there's a lot of planets especially for the Sun people Pluto comes in and Pluto has luck Pluto has wonderful wonderful luck um, that is coming in for the sign so um, it's gonna be good and there is there is not going to be any um, problems that is coming up it, it is actually a month of a lot of um, transformations okay um, I did another deck with um, I did another deck but I'm called to use this deck for you guys um, for the monthly so here we go um, the energies for you Aquarians for the month of January peace Wow isn't this wonderful isn't this wonderful peace so there is peace peace is coming in for you Aquarius in the month of January whenever the energy of peace comes in it is a wonderful wonderful energy because what is happening what is transpiring for you um, when peace comes in it is saying you know um, now there is an end to whatever situation whatever that was transpiring now there is an end to it and of course I can't do without using um, the energy of uh, um, um, the angels all the time spirit guides so as I said and um, as I've already said again you see your color is going to be purple white and green purple white and green and it says I open my heart to my guides and trust in the wisdom they share with me I open my heart to my guides and trust in the wisdom they share with me and this is wonderful and this is good so you have peace and you have your spirit guides coming in as I have said and this is going to be extremely extremely wonderful for you guys okay so this is wonderful this is good it's going to be extremely positive so ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you thank you um, for being here and I'm wishing you a wonderful month